One of the best ways to analyze stocks is to use visualizations or stock charts. But the question is, what are the most powerful stock charts that you can create and how do you do it in Excel? In this video, I want to share with you how you can create stock charts in Excel. And I'm going to share with you step by step, very practical examples so that you can use stock visualizations to your advantage so you can make better stock investment decisions. Okay, so before we get into how to create stock charts in Excel, Excel, the first thing that you need to do, which is very important actually, is to get the data that you want to create stock chart for in Excel. There's different ways in which you can do it. You can, of course, go to a site like Yahoo Finance, copy paste the data. However, what I recommend that you do is to use Y Sheets. We have uh, different tutorials on our channel that you can check out for how you can get the data. So in this case, you can see very simply, you can use a function like the Y's function, select the ticker, the data that you're looking for, and then all the periods or the years in this case that you like to get the data for. And as you can see, you will get the data right away. And you can check out this page right here, the WISE function to have more details about how the function works. With that being said, let's get straight into it, how you can create the first stock chart, which is gonna be a very simple line chart. Okay, so in order to create the line chart, this is a very simple process. Once you have the data, you have to structure it in this way for it to work properly. So you select the data. In this case, we have the revenue and all the different years. Go on insert. And then what we're going to do is click on. You can go directly to the line chart, but you can also see the recommended charts. And here you will see different visualizations that you can apply. In this case, we're going to go for the simple line chart. So you can click here. And by the way, if you want to see the more advanced visualizations, you can skip ahead. We've selected the chapters on the video so you can go into the more complex ones if you want to skip the simpler ones. OK, so once you do that, you can see all these different options in the menu. So, for example, we could change the color of the chart, do this. We can also add different elements to the chart. So in this case, these are the values themselves. Uh, I like the dark one personally, and I like the fact that it has labels here. And by the way, you can always change the layout of the chart as well. So here's some different options that you can integrate. So in this case, these are the labels. Here's a legend. And these are some more elements that you can add, like the access titles, the chart title, etc. What I like to do actually is to change some of this stuff directly. So for example, the title of the chart, we can change it to apples revenue over time and this could be the title of our chart the cool thing about using Y sheets and this is why I highly recommend it is that once you have a template set up like this in this case you can very simply change the company ticker so we'll change it to Microsoft and as you can see the data will update right away right here and that will also translate into the chart as well the only thing of course that you will need to change is titles if you do use any titles but everything else is taken care of now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show you how it is that you can add additional categories so let's say that we want to compare the revenue with the net income of the company so in that case all we need to do is to enter net income and by the way, on our website, we have all the data that's available on Y sheets and what functions you need to use for each parameter or data available. Once you do that, the rest of the process is simple. We just need to adjust the function. So in this case, you can see we can enter parameters. And for that, all we need to do is to select the parameters we need. Uh, we want to get, so in this case, revenue and net income. We already have the year set up. The company is already set up as well. So we could simply go ahead and click enter. And as you can see, everything will populate. And then from here, once again, we need to select the data, go on insert. And then right here, we're going to go to recommend the charts or we could go to the line charts directly and we can select this visualization. And as you can see, this is very cool because now we can see the direct relationship of the revenue growth and the net income and how this has in this case increased over time. Before we move into the next stock chart, I just want to share with you the fact that you can also change the order of the data. So in this case, we have from the lowest year to the the highest year the most recent so in this case we can also switch it around so what we can do is just simply type 2017 
and then what we're going to do is for this formula instead of adding or subtracting one we're going to add one and then once we have this we simply drag it across now the years are going to change the data is going to change and that is ultimately going to change the stock chart as well and as you can see we get the result right away and now we can see the data in this way the next type of stock chart in excel that is quite helpful and is one of my favorites i'm really excited to share this one with you is the pie chart and more specifically the pie chart that describes the revenues that a company obtains per segment for a particular period of time so before you get all caught up into what that means let me just show it to you so that way you can visually see it in this case, what we need to do is use the wise function. Uh, we're going to use Apple as an example, and we're going to enter segment revenues. This is where it gets a little bit interesting. So you can enter the periods and that's what we did before. In this case, what we're going to do is we're going to enter the periods in this way. So we're going to enter 2022 comma 2021 and 2020 this different type of bracket basically means allows you to enter multiple data points into a specific function so this is why you need to use that close the bracket the function is ready and now we just click enter and as you can see right away we get the data that we're looking for now what we need to do is we just need to format this number so i'm going to put them into the dollar format get rid of decimals and look at this isn't this beautiful now we have let me expand this we have the different segments that the company services so in this case mac service wearables home and accessories, iPad, iPhones. And for each of these different segments that Apple offers, uh, we can see the revenue breakdown that came from each over a different period of time. So this is really cool. And now with this data, what we can go ahead and do is select this, go to insert, recommend the charts, or we can go directly to the pie chart, but let's see if this is recommended. So in this case, this is not. The one thing about the pie chart that you do need to know is that you can enter multiple periods periods of time it just kind of gives you a snapshot for one particular year so in this case we're going to select the most recent year but we're going to have this for our own purposes to be able to see the trend in which the numbers are going so in that case we're going to go to insert and then we're going to select the pie chart and we can select the 3d one or the 2d one it doesn't really matter and in this case we're going to also click here so we can see the breakdown by percentage or we can also select this as well this is actually pretty cool so now we have our chart and everything is set up and we can see right away that the biggest revenues for apple in this case come from the iphone we could continue to grab this for these different periods of time as well so in that case what would happen is that we would be able to see how the pie chart changes over time if we just plot them one after another or another thing that you can do which is quite helpful is just literally to click on the chart itself and then after that you can go here and then drag this to a different year and you can see the trend as well in this case so this is pretty cool the next type of stock chart that we're going to create in excel next is a bar chart and that one is very simple so we have the same setup that we had before for the line chart and then after that we're gonna use the wise function again. In this case, the symbol is Amazon. We're gonna select the parameters, which in this case, we want the revenue, gross profit, and operating income to be. And these are great parameters to analyze over time for any particular company that you're analyzing. So for that, we're gonna enter as the periods this. Now there's a little bug that doesn't allow you, but I'm basically selecting all the different years. And then after we do that, we close the bracket. You can see that I'm selecting the right stuff. And as you can see, we get the data right away now the only little thing that we need to do is just make sure that the format is proper so we're going to do accounting we're going to get rid of this extra decimals another little trick that you can use is select all the different columns use shift and then double click here and this is going to auto adjust the size so that way you can see the data in a better way after you do that once again select the data that you would like to graph 
click on insert we can go to recommended charts or we can go again directly to the bar chart in this case let's go to recommend it and as you can see we can see the data that we're looking for right away so in this case this is the bar chart and the cool thing about this is that it allows you to see the different variables that we have so in this case revenue gross profit operating income and you can see those over time so as you can see for amazon this looks like a very healthy growth for the most part so we can see everything is growing especially the revenue uh, gross profits pretty steady as well now obviously in 2022 there were some changes and now the operating income doesn't look as promising but you never know what happens next the whole point is to be able to visualize the data and then be able to make your own conclusions after. Once again, one of the best parts about this is that because you're using Ysheets formulas, which get you the data directly on your spreadsheet, you can simply change the company ticker. So we'll change it to Apple again. And as you can see right away, you're going to be able to see the change on the data for the spreadsheet and also the change on the visualization or the stock chart itself. Now, the last type of stock chart that we're going to create is a little bit more technical and it focuses on the historical trends of the price for a particular stock. After this, what I want to share with you is a very cool template that you can use and download for absolutely free on Ysheets that allows you to change a company sticker and get a whole bunch of visualizations very fast but before that let's get to it so the cool thing about excel is that if you go and insert you can see some of the different chart types available and one of the cool ones for stocks is if you click on this one on the waterfall is that it allows you to see this one which is specifically made for stocks and you can pick any of these ones if you hover over it it will tell you what it is so in this case this is the high low close graph this is the open high low close this is the volume high low close so in this case what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this one the high low close so in that case all that we need is the high the low and the close and obviously the date for those particular values for that what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the wise press function which you can see how it works right here so we're gonna enter equals wise price the symbol is gonna be apple for the parameters what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the curly brackets again so we can enter multiple and in this case we're gonna enter the high the low and the close after we do that close these brackets and now we can just say for the last 30 days so in that case we could just say 30 or actually we're gonna do last day so that way we can visually see the data better so 10 days and as you can see we get the data right away which in this case is the date the high the low close and as you can imagine once you have this information it's very simple to create the stock chart so you're gonna select the data click on insert waterfall again and we're going to select this one right here the high the low and the close click on that we're going to change it to this so we could see this better there we go and we can of course change the size change the title etc but now as you can see this is cool because we can see the different dates and we can see the different patterns that the stock price had over time now the last thing that i want to share with you is the stock charts template and this template is super powerful as you can see right here you can see all these different visualizations and information about a particular company this is in a way inspired by the information provided by y charts so as you can see you can see all these different metrics over time and you can also see the revenue growth the price to sales on a ttm basis which is actually based on the current stock price and the ttm revenue as well and as you can imagine this uses y sheets in order to get all this different data and then from there all the different visualizations and stock charts are made in excel after that of course this whole thing is dynamic so if i change the ticker to apple you can see how the stock charts automatically update now if you're wondering we also do cover international stock exchanges so for that let's say that we want to look at telos so that's a canadian company the ticker is t.to that's the extension this is the same ticker system as yahoo finance by the way so in this case we have the telos corporation we have all the different metrics and now we have the stock charts as well now in order to get the template for free it is very simple all you need to do is to create a Ysheets account on our website download the Ysheets add-on sign in with your account 
and then you're gonna go to wise templates and then from here you're gonna pick the hyper chart stock graphs you're gonna download this open the file and you're gonna be able to get the template the only thing that you do need to know is that you need a premium account in order to get data for the majority of tickers on the free version you can only access specific tickers so just keep that in mind now you know everything that you do need to know in order to create powerful stock chart visualizations in excel so go ahead start using this knowledge so you can make better stock investment decisions faster if you've enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications on so that way you get notified every time we release a new video like this that's going to allow you to take your investing game to the next level i'll see you in the next one